Brownie's nose is so big, he could use it to get pickled onions out of a jar. <laughs> There's always one annoying one in the bottom though, isn't there? You know, a bit of skin just coming off it. Here's another one. When Brownie lays down in the sun, his nose works as a sundial. Again, quite similar. <laughs> smell, a, smell a Sunday roast on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> like that one as well. But my favourite, great to see Park and Chris rooting for the Japanese and Brownie supporting the Japanese. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey we've got our flight to catch. Oh, in can an hour and a half. get me home. You might not be watching, so you can just go and lie in the sun over there, Chris. <laughs> Brilliant. You might think we'll be having time in his life, but I'm missing tipping point. Oh, I'm ready for all, me now. I'm ready for all. If I could bring the little ones out, I would stay for the full tournament. Yeah. I don't think I would. So I'm would you not? No, I, 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 I think I've realised, right? I think football shit. <laughs> I'm not bothered about the football. The football gets in the way. It's, I'm sat at these games and I'm bored, man. I'm bored. Like, all I'm thinking of is, like, it's just can I get back in fit? I've, Lack of sleep and that. I just want to get back in bed, me. You have not felt the same? If I, I'm ready now. I think the, we, we've had a, a good kick of the kick of it, haven't we? I, I just choose me. I just uh, it's going quite a theme, isn't it? Pumping, pumping on. <laughs> You're pumping I on can't believe again. you've just said I'm watching the game and I want to get back in bed. <laughs> I, do, I do. <laughs> like, uh, been to England games at the World Cup, man. I know, but I've, real, I've realised I'm really not a bit of fan of football at, at all. If you all come out, if I get to the final and you all come out, just uh, have a good time, lads. I'm stopping at home. I must be up because we went to the fan park last night, didn't we? Yeah. Before the Wales game. And the fan park, obviously, you can get a drink in there. It's a good atmosphere in there. Class. I didn't really want to go to the game. I wanted to have stayed at the I would rather have stayed and, and had a drink. Yeah. If Sunday yeah. offered me 40 Qataris for my ticket, I could have had it. Yeah. It's tenner. Have it. Go and enjoy yourselves. That's the hardest us. that an hangover's kicked in for me at a game. Because we, we, we'd, we'd eaten big. Yeah. And we, I was full. I was bloated. So I, I got a few vodkas just to, to perk up. And then I reckon 20 minutes into the game, it was like, hello. That's the thing, thing is, we're like, kids because we've got a little window of probably an hour and a half that we get in there yeah. from when Matt is on our case to leave to go and do some work so we must have had five six cans Matt, you were raging. A tequila in the first 15 yeah. minutes and then he comes back with a double vodka Red Bull oh now nah, then needed working we, we, we weren't too heavy on the food before on well, Mike were raging because he said, right, we need to go now, lads, we need to get to the ground and get there early. So I said, Brownie, you go to the toilet. About 15 minutes. Brownie went. He's just going, have we ready to go? Like, Brownie's just at the toilet, right? Like, and I saw Brownie coming back, kind of, right, passed the baton. I went for 15, <laughs> took two cans with me. Oh, I would start to trap three with two cans. As if we, as if we sneaking <laughs> this up. One's oh, we're sneaking up from Matty, so we're going to have a couple more drinks. The like. thing is, the Hail Mary, when everybody's together and Matty's like ushering us out the door, is just get him to do something. So we got up to stand on a chair and just sing a Harry Maguire song or something. <laughs> just to just get to sneak some five minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> we were like kids, weren't we? <laughs> Good result, though. Good result last night. Do you know, it's it's weird, isn't it? Because it's not like watching it. Uh, uh, you know, you can watch the game and think he played well. He, he, he like It's hard to take it in as a, a sporting event because there's all of the stuff going on as well. Like, it overwhelms you a little bit that you're at a World Cup game and all the atmosphere and everything. Some might say that's because you've got an untrained eye. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right, then. Uh, uh, some I thought it was that. a spectacle of the, oh, event to be fair, of the spectacle. You're just thinking of your next stupid thing to do, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the main reason. Like, so we had a, encouraging young kids to sing swearing songs next door. No, it, yeah. was, it was edited. Eh? It was edited. Thing is, we've said, in the, I think it was the last podcast, that we need an early goal. If we get an early goal, we'll be a different team. Once and it would have one. been the case last night. He just shitted got himself one. till they get one. Rashford, side, the pass, side, pass, for just... side pass, go but, back, come sideways. Rashford's got to uh, score in the first half, and I think that I think that opens the floodgates. I think we have been disrespectful to Wales, but we were crap, by the way. That's yeah. probably a bit disrespectful, but the were crap. Uh, 
if we go on one up in the first 15 20 i think it could have been five six they do come all at once though it's like uh you know when you, you know when you're having sex and you take your time initially it, it, it might have been a while and you think well this might not last that long so he's like nice and steady here to the side to and then at one, one, to once, the side once they get the once side. they get the momentum going they're just like that's how I imagine you having sex, Chris. Yeah. Not that I'd like to imagine you having sex, but I think you're just in. Get the, the job done. Get the job done. Bed. Out we go. What do you mean to the side? Oh, I'm on about the pass it, the, the movement. All oh, right. England. Tight, tight, like the, the momentum slow. Pass it back. Take Tell you what your time. I have noticed. No, no, not many, not many people want to commit players, do they? Mm. It was remember Forden second half, first time, first yeah, yeah, and they get first time kick. he did it. Free kick for the Rashford goal. It's as if they don't want it, they're scared of giving the ball mm. away. Yeah. Were, I, I thought Ford were bre breath of fresh air. Just it's, like it's you it, said, it's incredible. Willing isn't it? to take a risk. Yeah. Incredible. Hey Jude was back. Yeah. yeah. Maguire, man. I said to you, for, he's one of our best attacking players. You know, coming out with the ball and that. I think he's been absolutely fantastic. Apart from that shot. Yeah, that was not cross. The, shot the one way for a throw in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he's uh he's not put a foot wrong, has he? Nah. And I'm over the moon. And we somehow ended up with the Wales fans. Our tickets were yeah. there in the Wales end. But uh, it was good. Every, everybody was great, weren't they? We were, having yeah. a, we were having a chat and a laugh and a drink with the Welsh. Because I thought there was going to be, might have been trouble, you know. Yeah. There were nearly a bit of... There were a group of England fans up way out. You know the ones who were always pushing it too far? Uh -huh. Like, you're going home, you're going home and all this stuff. And then I just said, one, one of them stroke card and went, Bucky tats for sale, red bucky tats for sale. <laughs> red, green and red and white bucky tats for sale. <laughs> to be fair, I thought were he was going to get a slug that that I think, I think, I'll tell you what did actually help with that, the fact that they were all 98% all out before the game, yeah, weren't they? Yeah. So it's, it didn't come as a shock to them that they were going home. They, they knew before we the, the, the game started. So we're in our second home, aren't we? Yeah, we're at the double tree. This is... Familiar. Home from home. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Boys. I don't. If I don't, Morning. If I, we don't come back here for twelve months. I'm not bothered. Because we, we we need. Well, we we're, we're off to the airport after here, aren't we? So we're like, where are we going to get location to record a podcast? So mentioned it to Sylvester, the manager here <laughs> at, at the Double Tree. <laughs> the manager slash pool attendant. He <laughs> said, "Oh, while we're staying, do you mind if we if we use the air? Oh, for you boys, anything. For you boys, anything. They've turned Upstairs. the music off. So, music's off. Hillside music's gone off yeah. for us." Um, Don't even, we're not even staying here. We, me and Chrissy have been going to the gym and... You know, there's always that one person in the gym that picks weights up that are far too heavy for them. That was Chris. All the dumbbells had gone. All the liftable all weights. The, all the, the, the eights. The, the eights had gone. The girl had the, the eights. You know what so I'm, I'm like though? ADHD, I need to do something. <laughs> so I'm sat, I was just sat, I'd, I'd done something and I could see Chris in the mirror and he's picked up some 18s, with the 18s, 20s. I was looking for a minute he's, like um, oh, I've got to do some, I'll go for these ones. <laughs> these <laughs> when, I, when I took them off, I went, <laughs> But, but you I'd start, I'd start. Once you pick them up, you can't put them down. Well, and you, you should have, you should you have seen. Believe me, you can. The you should have seen these bicep curls. <laughs> you were just using any muscle possible to get it from there to there. <laughs> It was, I can't even recreate it. I it was, it was under, like a squat, it was at a... I, I planned on doing 15, and a three. <laughs> to be fair though, out back, we went in the gym after, didn't we? I actually came in and, and I started throwing him about the 18s and he were, you, were, you were impressed, weren't you? You're a big piece of kit, John. For a, uh, a non-lifting weight man. Yeah. I was just, you could see, it, even the girl that was doing a bit on the floor, just looking at you like <laughs> you do shake of the head. Do we uh I'm not surprised I did a little bump when I picked for some <laughs> I've probably got her attention. Oh dear. <laughs> what, what are you most looking forward to getting home for? Oh so much. Sex. Bed? Be bit, well, I'll be taking my time, you know that. <laughs> going sideways. Yeah. Be going back to keeper a few times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my bed, definitely. Yeah. Some home, home, some home cooked food. Kids, yeah. yeah. yeah the well, kids. What about your well, 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 children, kids. Chris? <laughs> yeah, the kids. Tipping points. I'm, I'm not being being sarcastic. Tipping I'm points. Fucking sick of you That's tipping all we for four days. Right? That's all we've heard. Are you not a fan? Miss, no, not really. 
Not like tipping pie. You've had it on a VPN though, haven't you? No, not tipping pie. I'm, I'm saving them for a... Oh, for when you get a, a mammoth... We, yeah, we, a, kids uh, a mammoth tip when you get back. The kids are at school, the missus at work. I've got seven, seven episodes block of tipping point. When we're on the way down from somewhere, it just went... Makes you realise, doesn't it, that... TV is a massive part of your life. You know, you can just <laughs> you can just sit down. Even if you're not watching it properly, it's just on and you can, well, you can just pick up it. that remote. As we're on the way to the double tree. <laughs> to sit in the pool. 30 degrees. <laughs> I miss tipping point, man. Tipping point. You should just mention while we're on though, while we're talking about the VPN. Not the links in the description below for no VPN, you get 30 day money back guarantee, four months free. And like I say, if you're if you're abroad and you want to watch tipping point like John. You just put your VPN on. I've been watching the soaps and I've... It's helped me with the, the Swifty, getting on the Swifty and yeah. stuff. That's the thing, if you're abroad as well, or you want to have a, a bet like yeah. we have, or on match. Just Don't, put Chrissy, VPN. you can't forget the military-style security. Military-style security as well. You know about that. that. Keep all your passwords, passwords bank details yeah. secure. So to be no, fair, no hackers other, are getting in. A few other lads who were, who were out here have been on about it, haven't they? The VPN yeah. and that, saying that they're sat watching films and yeah. stuff. Yeah, so the link's in the description. 30 day money back guarantee and four months free. Changing lives again, Changing man. lives. Adopted Japanese. Yeah. Kenichiwa. I, I enjoyed it with, with the Japanese. Most respectful fans in the world. Yeah. We took it on board, didn't we? We cleaned up. Cleaned up. I, I wish... Give uh, them a bow. I, I wish you'd have put did. that into your room. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd have took that respect into our room. <laughs> The fucking hell, I tell you what, if you think, if we, we like a fancy dress, the Japanese love fa a fancy dress. Oh, aye. I saw Pikachus, I saw... Karate Kid. Karate, karate kids, kid. yeah, a couple of ninjas. We should, we ought to, if we'd have known we were going to that game, we ought to have all gone karate, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. White stripe, white belt, one, stri one stripe. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have purple at least. <laughs> Brown. There's only one thing Chrissy's refused to do this trip, and that's to receive a kick in the face from Karate Kid. <laughs> I went, that was I went too, for the crane and he turned was, around. Bridge too far, wasn't yeah. it? That? Remember, Tell you what worked good, don't we? Why? The atmosphere on the tube last night. Yeah. yeah like, it's it's like, the first time we got a tube to the game. To the game. And it, it was it was bouncing. It was like being at home, wasn't it? Yeah. It was wasn't as good when you needed a piss though. No. That is one thing. Lack of public toilets. Yeah. Between the tube station and the ground, there just needs to be a couple of portaloos, don't there? Yeah. You know, because as you, as we said, you've you've knocked eight cans back in an hour and a half. I tell you, you know, like we we've spoke about the stuff back home, like being worried about a, a lashing, you're gonna get stoned, you're gonna be in it, How relaxed it is, and how good it is, I know, because last night. Like, you know, we're on about, oh, we're not taking a drink. <laughs> you can't drink outside the thing. Oh, like that like with a vodka Red Bull, it water bottle. Like, oh yeah, it's fine. They're all all right here. But See, then... that's what that, that, that's the problem. That, that, you, people like you will give But I didn't English do it though. I, I dr uh, yeah, because we stalled that much, I drank it before we left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, he's boozing on streets. He's pissing up cars. I am pissed up no cars. What he, about when he's... He's boozing on pissing up cars and fucking come dressed as a bird. <laughs> so they, they closed that road off, didn't they, on that on the Corniche oh, thing right, for yeah. a parade? And the barrier, it was a... Got a leap, hasn't it? So he's hurdled it. Fosby flop. He's hurdled it. <laughs> and the, the, the boys came down, didn't they? No, 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 no. And I thought, Johnny's going to have to hurdle back here. But no, just, just carried on just marching, and I thought... They, they were, I were walking diagonally and they were walking this way towards me and I just kept, you know, like, kept, kept me into it <laughs> on the side thinking, am I going to get accosted here or not? Yeah, but so it, before I, I came, a barrier. before I came, I, I thought, he's getting, he's getting done for that, just from what we'd heard. But the lads were like, oh, he's gone. He's a big piece of kit. Let him go. Let him off. But it was a good, good bit of hurdle, yeah. weren't it? I'm a, bit, I'm a bit sad we've not man managed to get to the, the final stadium, the big one, that bathtub. We'll be there for to watch because England. It's supposed yeah. to be incredible. Oh, yeah, well. We've been to the same stadium twice, haven't we? I know. Yeah, that's just look at the, the draw. Japan game, it? Yeah. Look at the draw. For the Japan game and last so, night. Who do we think is going to win it? Fuck knows. Like you said, Brazil didn't look brilliant. Um, for me, France are the ones. I think there's probably four or five teams who are thinking it's winnable. We can have a look. Yeah. So we've got Senegal next. Yeah. And then we you saying if we get through the likelihood, is it. I think it's Holland. Holland or Denmark. I thought it was France. Maybe. I don't know. 
One step at a time, lads. Yeah. yeah. Send a girl. That's, you know you reach that? That's because we don't know. We don't know. One game at a time. <laughs> Send a goal, though. You... No man here. No. I think we've got no idea, have we? No. Let's be honest, we've got no We watched idea. them last night as well against Ecuador. By the way, have we spoke about, because we were going to try to get to the USA training thing, weren't we? And it's made us realise how many hoops the liaison officer jumped through really? to get us there. Yeah. We actually were, <coughs> for one day, FIFA accredited journalists. <laughs> they're not, it's not like, oh, dress like that. It's not, uh, it's not like Steve on, on Doer. Steve, just let these in, mate. We were actually FIFA accredited journalists. Because we emailed the US media man and he emailed back saying, unless you've got FIFA accreditation, I can't do anything. No, no, no. And the email from Lewis from the FA, he said, tell Chris and Matty not in capital letters not to bring their raw media pass, which is like the Smitty one that anyone can get. Sylvester can get. Yeah, if you bring a camera, you get Anybody one. Anybody can get one. So they've obviously done it, gone through the FIFA line and came up Trump's. Set? Is it still set? Set? I don't think it's set. It's definitely not set. But oh, is it? <laughs> Funk knows. Well, the, the lads, the, yeah, I've got this crew from England. Uh, any chance? <laughs> yeah, no bother. <laughs> no bother, let him in. No bother. Let, they must, I reckon he just put us down as competition winners. So, you think? So, so massive thanks yeah, to Lewis. We, play, we played the role well, didn't we? Did. We, did. <laughs> we played the role well. <laughs> Fuck me. I, America through with us. Yeah. Wales has been poor, haven't they? Win yeah, back. I wonder what, uh, what, what was it with Gareth coming off at half time? I think he was injured. Really? But I've read, uh, I've read this morning that he's playing on. Mm. He's played on? Yeah. It's... I, was speak, I was speaking uh, to a lad, he was down at that Education City on course down there. He said he were on, he were on third hole by 75 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what, playing, playing night golf? <laughs> Floodlit golf? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, right, no, no matter how good you are and how good you have been, you can't just like half toss it for six months and then come to a World Cup and expect to be pulling up trees, yeah. can you? I don't think he's trying to... We were chatting to some uh, American lads over there and he just, he, he just can't get in the no. team. Because like, Carlos Vela's Bella. there, isn't he? Yeah, Carlos Vela's at the same team and what he was saying was that they can't play together as soon as Bale sat on the bench and started winning, so he can't... can't he's not get getting a, a game. Fair enough then, innit? Hi, mate. Our Australian friend. <laughs> <laughs> It has been good though, hasn't it? You know, yeah. Would you come back? 100%. Yeah. As a, as a destination, nothing to do with football yeah. or anything? Yeah, I'd come back. For a bit of uh, winter I'd come sunk. for a holiday. I'd, I'd, as long I'd, as it's not ridiculous, like, if they put the prices down for the hotels, yeah. I'd come back. It's... Because after being in Dubai, I was like, not for me, this. You know, very pretentious, into money oriented, mm. but then here... It, it's like a watered down version. It's a bit more like a dorm. Yeah. You go to I the prefer malls. Prefer it either than Dubai. Yeah. Not many dorm, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. But no, I've not, not, not seen a fucking jumbo breakfast sign outside a shop anywhere. <laughs> outside a cafe. <laughs> Fish and chips in Radisson. Yeah, that's one thing I wish we'd have had. I know. I'm not fed up with seeing kebabs. I never thought I I'd know. say it. What about that meal we went for over in Radisson? We just went, we fancied a steak. So we asked the guy, he said, oh, there's a steakhouse in the Radisson. So we did that, we went to the door, asked them, oh yeah, staircase at the back, we went in, we sat down. First thing. Napkins on the, napkins, the, the, you're in then, aren't you? First thing, you know napkins. You've been greeted, and the napkins on the lap, you're in. Complimentary present on yeah, arrival. We're, we're, napkin. Straight away, we're like, this is, this is out of our league, this. Napkin, prosecco, hors d'oeuvre, appetizer. Yeah. yeah. Which was shite, by the way. Yeah. Menu, menu came menu last. Menu came in, fucking hell. You nearly, nearly dropped it with that heavy. 100 quid a steak. <laughs> Needless to say, we didn't have steak. Bart chips. And it goes, yeah. it goes without yep. saying that Dave can't have a meal without t two sides. Oh, aye. He's fucking... Yeah. Uh, Dave has I've, not, I've, I've watched Dave's eyes, actually. When, you know, when he's, he has the menu, he doesn't actually read what's on the menu. He just goes down the numbers. Biggest one, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> he has rinsed us any of this trip. <laughs> he has. Honestly. I'm, I've never seen a man eat so many cakes. Dave was at the game last night. 
and some random just walked up to him and went, for fuck's sake, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> And he, he dropped on again at the England yeah. game last night. Oh, fucking hell. Right, someone got in touch, Andy. He could, honestly, he could fall in a barrel of fucking thumbs and come out sucking the tits. He <laughs> really could. He didn't uh, have no, no tickets before we came. No. He'd end up seeing two England games. I looked over the other day. He had his feet up. He had one of them cock mocktail things with the umbrella yeah. out. Red velvet, no doubt. <laughs> there was side. a bit of cake in there. Oh, all right. Yeah. A cake chaser. <laughs> So, but uh, Andy got in touch. Just, right, just, Andy. Just, just on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> he's put fucking two and a half stone on in ten days. That, <laughs> that's how much he's at that cut. He's, he's, on, he's, he's starting to borrow my t-shirts. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, well, Andy, thanks, Andy. He got in touch, didn't he? His uh, his wife, for whatever reason, had to go back, so we had a spare ticket. And uh, he said, "If you if you what if you need one, lads, there's one here for you." So, so, so we, we didn't read the small. At the bottom, there was a star. Anybody but Dave. Oh, is that what he said? Sit with anybody oh, but sorry, Dave. Andy. Yeah. Sorry. So it's apologies from us, Andy. Uh, but Big Dave, as we now call him. Yeah. He's. Uh, he's. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dave. He messaged me as well. Andy, because he said apparently Dave, when he got the oh no, I've not got a company card with me. <laughs> so Dave, I'd get him, uh, Andy, Andy, I'd get him a couple of cakes, three lattes, a burger, and two fucking fantas. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Dave. Uh, Jesus <laughs> guy. <laughs> well, I've said to said to me at taxi last night, Dave. Honestly, when you get home, just go to uh, go to Tesco's, do yourself a big shop, and then just drop the card off for us. <laughs> <laughs> drop the company card off. He's rinsed his company for. In fact, him. Dave, it felt car up and all. Might as well put yeah. some diesel in. Uh, on that, actually, um, obviously, a massive thanks to Swifty for sponsoring. We could yeah. do with some more sign-ups because we've not had uh, Dave's confectionery bill yet through. It, he's actually cost us more in cake than he has in flights, <laughs> and he's missed three of the bastards. <laughs> <laughs> We're working it out all the night. He, he has been on. He has cost us £700 an hour for work that he's done. <laughs> 700 snotters an hour. <laughs> Kate Cologne. He's good with that camera though, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I just <laughs> yeah. like that. I mean, he's not looking. He's, shit he's up, not man. looking. He's, he's, he's reading the menu as he speaks. He's just got camera like that. <laughs> uh, Salmon omelette, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, then. I'll have some fries with it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll have some fries. Uh, so, uh, Fanta. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a bottle of water as well, please. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll pay. Hashtag pay Dave's bill. Campaign. In fact, we Swifty, to set a, Swifty links in the description. <laughs> we ought to set a goal for me up. <laughs> <laughs> the links in the description. It's been good while we've been here. We're on. Morning. We're on. Uh, we're on. I on it last night at the game. You're flying on it, aren't I you? Know. It's like every game. Is, he's not been telling us, has he? No. So last night we're at the fans park and he just started cheering me like, "Fucking hell, what's happened? I've got a penalty in this game." <laughs> you look up at his green and the, the big dog just putting it on the spot. <laughs> I'm on 50, 58 pounds I'm on off my fiver. So... Because <laughs> he does just go quiet, but doesn't he? You can see him like... The thing is, is, is that slap that he went, oh no. Like, why, what's up? He says, oh, it's a penalty for the other team. <laughs> and he went, oh no, it's not. It's just a penalty. <laughs> We're like VAR, weren't it? <laughs> you, you, got, <laughs> you got your cheer foot penalty and your VAR in it to see if he's, uh, it's the right team. And then the VAR's pointed to the spot, yeah. well, we're up again. Put another 15 quid in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it's just a good bit of fun. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, it it's a bit of fun. Just to, uh, I've just been having a fiver here, a fiver there. And the link's in the description and uh, the offer. They've got a bloody good offer on it. Mate. If you put a, get, uh, a bet on the seven o'clocker, the last, the last games, then you get that stake as a free bet the next day as well. So the link's in the description. And you can choose involved. any bet for that, can't you? Yeah. Got to be 18 or over. Please gamble responsibly. Always gamble. That was professional, wasn't been, it? I've been look gambling at the responsibly. And, and look at me. Hey, I'll get you a cake at airport, Dave. <laughs> What's your favourite cake, Dave? Bloody red velvet, I know. The crumbs all over the apartment floor. <laughs> it is it's like red ants. It is, it is taking the piss when you can't decide which cake to have, so it just goes, I'll have both. <laughs> both, please. Went for a steak last night, and the most expensive one was ribeye. And I just knew that he was looking for the fillet. No fillets. Oh, I'll have the next. Oh. 
Ribeye the dick. Ribeye the dearest steak at the plate. And what, what, what did Dave have? Ribeye, yeah. yeah. Most what, expensive. Did it come with mash and veg? Mash, chips, and peppercorn sauce. It's lovely, wasn't it? So are the chips and peppercorn sauce extras? Yeah. Fuck's sake, Dave. Eh? And we, 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 it wasn't even finished. We shot us bolt. We shot us bolt, didn't we? We yeah. had <laughs> soup. We had some soup. What was the place called? Healthy, healthy living. I don't know what it was. I, I just fancied that soup. So yeah. Every restaurant under the sun in this mall, and I saw these two in the healthy, <laughs> healthy option or summer. Just healthy living option. We've got a <laughs> soup and a bread soup roll. Soup and a bread roll. It were nice, like. It was, it was but, lovely. But uh, when I, I saw that steak, I was like, yeah, I was spent. I was spent though. I was yeah. tired. I was not really hungry. I've not felt. I've just felt like shit for ten days. Mm. You're like you've looked like, you look like shit. If they got to the final, I, I'd like to come back. I mean, I don't know if you could get. I don't know if you could get tickets like. We'll have I mean, to be, even sitting that fan park. I tell you, I tell you what is shit. I was speaking to somebody the other day who lives out here, and he said, definitely the final, maybe even the semi-finals, will all be people from the UAE. There won't be any supporters there, right? Which I think is pretty shit. Yeah, yeah. Because we were, well, I no didn't actually realise how the lads, ticket there? system worked. We were speaking to some English lads last night when they they've already bought tickets all the way to the final, and then if they don't get there, you get your money back. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's Dave's chopper taking. That's going to take him to airport. He's not. He's not Uber it, Dave, is he? Fuck. He's got a chopper on card. It'll be half an hour. Do we speak about at the Grand Prix? You get a Uber helicopter. You can, yeah, in in Dubai. Abu Dhabi. There's, there's, there's a there's a chopper, a chopper option on Uber. That's classic. It's not bad, is Why it? Why we get that to camels? I know. We've been there and back in yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> that's that's the lowest point of my trip. That that taxi. To and from the, the camels. camels. Yeah. Bad. Knowing what's happening there. Yeah. Left the ladies on the yacht. What's your best best moment? So can you, if you can hear that, it sounds a little bit like a whale in the pool. That's Dave, he's just got in. He's put that much weight on, that's how fucking big he is. <laughs> You've got in his head already. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvester's mopping out water back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, best... that, was, that was a massive low point for me. That I don't know why we did that. Best part of the trip for me was, and I've seen a few comments on on you saying it, saying we staged it, but the hundred percent getting in that first game when I didn't think there was a chance in hell I was getting in. See, they, they really did change it because I think we got us tickets like half an hour before like, last night. I think. Yeah. Like they, they must have done not something. Not even close to the yeah, ground. They've, they've ironed out the crease. So. Yeah. That that you were so lucky. The fact that it was the second game. Yeah. If it had been any other game, I don't think I'd have got in. No, job were fucked. We had a, my, I remember being over the moon. We'd formed a rebel group, us three. We left Dave in the cafe and got the Red Lion and seen that it was seven pound a pint. Yeah. Yeah. With, I think it was some, you got, there was an offer on 160 odd Qatari Ryle and chicken wings. And we were like. That's your, that's your highlight of the trip. Me, yeah. That first, because well, reading stuff back home, 19 pound a pint, it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a dry trip, lad. It's going to cost us even more. I know. John, highlight? Yeah, it'll, it'll be landing at Manchester Airport. <laughs> About seven and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> I might even watch a tipping point when I get in tonight. <laughs> just, to, just to drop off to... Now, the highlight... Uh, the fans and that, I think. Yeah. I think the fans... Like, Mixing with everybody. There's so many... Like, last night... Last night, we... Uh, we're in the mall, it's two o'clock or whatever. And there's this bloke and he's got like long grey hair, bit of a tash, England fan. And he just went, must have been 65, 70, 65 is 70. Yeah. And he just went, under the cosh. And he just went, Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf the grey, under the cosh, Gandalf the grey. <laughs> I felt bad actually, he didn't. But he it, said, yeah. he didn't take it out well, did he? But to be fair, like, no, I think he'd, he'd be right. Yeah, he said, oh, I've been watching a lot of your videos and that. So we might be getting an older audience as well yeah. now. I think. It's because we're starting to mature, aren't we? Yeah. But do you know, like, just the amount of, the, the amount, the amount of lads who have, like, come over. <laughs> Under the cosh. I hope everybody, like, start, starts taking our approach. Like, I just see, like, Ian Wright and Alan Shearer. Just, oh, fantastic playing them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lads. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, lads. <laughs> Played a beautiful ball in the box. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
fucking hell, Scotty. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> what Jill. Not Jill Scott, Jill. is it? What they call her? Alex. 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 <laughs> fucking hell. What? Jill Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, 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 what did you have last night to eat you? You mucky cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's dis- been good though. Disappointed you haven't got your blue added ass on. <laughs> I've worn it obviously for the crack, if people have not realised. Well, <laughs> for the last one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'll be honest with you, right? I, I think I've worn. 20% of the clothes that I've fetched. I've got some lovely gear in there. <laughs> some fucking fabulous gear in there. But you know what I do? Because I, I, I just got it in a pile. Like, so a what I've done is I took, it took my clothes off, put them on top, and then I thought, fuck it. I've just put the ones that are on the top back on. You know, instead of like putting them under yeah. or putting them in the case or whatever. So that's the reason. Yeah, that blue Adidas t-shirt, it needs a good fettle when it gets back. I did see a comment that they're going to start a GoFundMe to get you some new clothes. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Sweating again. I've worn some terrible colours and all, and I like... <laughs> just no, no just blue, sweat. really, haven't you? Yeah. No blue? Plus, yeah. <laughs> Anything blue? Yeah. Right, right. I, I'll accept it off you. Under no circumstances am I taking abuse on clothes from that. Why? What's wrong with me? That's probably the most sensible t-shirt you've got. I've seen a tie-dye come out at Watcher. There's no wrong with that tie-dye. Fucking filth. It's beautiful. <laughs> Normal gets you no word, John. Yeah. Johnny came out the, out the bedroom this morning and went, should we just do a Zoom? He like, no, come on, we'll get this done. I went, you're going to have to carry us, lads. And I thought he was asleep, but he just turned over and went, not for the first time this trip. <laughs> 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 out of nowhere. He's, he's an arsehole, actually. So just to clarify on the ticket situation, so if you buy tickets, you're buying them for the first three an games, England fan. the 16, the quarterfinals, the semi-finals, and the final. You're guaranteed them. Yeah, I think if you if you, if you're an, an England member, and we, we were chatting to them last night, them lads weren't we? And they, I know, but I, I, I didn't got really. Me, I, got, I got made in my suit. I weren't listening, but basically they they bought tickets all the way to the final, and I think were they 50 quid. Poppy was saying, uh, maybe a bit more. The, obviously the final one. So anybody can buy tickets right up to the final. So like an Ecuador fan might have bought them all the way to the final, but then obviously when they go out, you get your money back mm. for for the for the games up to up to that point that you've gone out. Right. So it's good, really. I mean, I think they missed the quarter and semi, aren't they? Yeah. And they were about a thousand quid for five games, then, innit? Yeah. But, yeah. but one of them's the final. But then it's back in your account if you don't yeah. make it. So there'll be, there'll can you, be a few. Can, can quid they sell it then? They, it's not, it automatically does it. So, oh. you, so you, you can't go if you want to go to the final. You can't just say, oh, I'd like to go and watch that match. Basically, you say, I'm an England fan. I'm buying up to the final. And then when England go out, you get your money back. Right. So, the, so you know that there is a number of fans going. And then what you do is you, they, they sell it to the. Uh, Qataris and that. Yeah. But I, I imagine there's, there's a lot, like you said, for the semis and finals. I imagine that proportion of corporate supporters is going to grow. Dig, dig, dignitaries? Is that the right word? Not just dignitaries, but, you know, just the corporate tickets. Yeah. Or biz, businessmen to get into the final. Crouchy. Crouchy. <laughs> But, uh, I know that's it. I'm, I'm looking for just sitting on Seti and that. Miss, my Christmas tree's up. Is that? She put Christmas tree it's up. Too early, surely. Well, it's up. Man, it'll, be, it'll be December. Day after we get yeah. back, will it? Also, I'll... first yeah. weekend of December, I, I go. So we play Sunday, and we're going to be hopefully in Sunderland. Is it a Budweiser Budweiser thing? fan park, I believe. Back back to the honest reactions. I can't. I, I'm driving, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, what, are you going to elaborate anymore? Just yeah. Just had enough. <laughs> I've got I've got a ta- I've got an airport run Monday morning, early. So I'm driving, lads. Can they not get a taxi? Eh? Can they not get a taxi? I've already I've already agreed chopper. to it. So yeah, I think I think I am anyway. But 
I'll be able to watch the game, Wayne. I'm ready for a few few days rest and then we'll ready to go again. It, back at it for for the next round. It'll be interested to see what everything's like back home because yeah. we've seen a few people saying they haven't been able to get into the into the spirit and all that. Right, yeah. So we'll have to. Are we happy with tans or yeah? I imagine it has been harder back home. To like, get into I, know, I, I, I spoke to her also, I said, "Do you watch games?" She went, oh, "I watch second half." She said, I can't get into it. It's like it's not same when it's it's miserable outside. I've got yeah. fire on in house. It's like not not same yeah. as when usually I've got like a TV in, in garage. I usually put shutter up and we're all sat outside in garden with a drink. You used to associate World Cups and Euros with beer gardens, don't you? Yeah, yes. ah, in sun and yeah, people falling about if anybody, and stuff. If anybody chucks some dark fruits over me in that Sunderland. Fan zone, bloody December. <laughs> Not the same, is it? No, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. Should we have a breakfast for the road? I think so. One final salmon omelette before we depart. I'm going to go continental, croissants and that, and then get the big salmon omelette. Yeah. Fancy it? Thing is, he'll get us blown up. Yeah, coming in like that. Jesus yeah. Christ. Inconspicuous. Can I have your room number, sir? That's what they'll be saying as yeah. soon as he walks well, in. One three, one three four. The hotel two down. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, is it? Being honest, <laughs> honest John. <laughs> right, you can't, you can't criticise me. John. You can't criticise me for being honest, can you? Surely to God. Right, chaps, right. we're going to play to catch. Yeah, Once let's... again, though, a massive thanks to Swifty Predictions for and Nord for doing this. Yeah, very for much appreciated. Uh, and the, that link is in the description. Get yourself involved. Is a is a good fun, good fun. Gamble responsibly, and obviously over 18. So. Kanichiwa. Adios Qatar. Done. What a miserable bastard, eh? <laughs>